now we're going to do the eighth movement which is the planked to scorpion so you're going to start in a full plank position where your feet is off the floor you cannot do this on your knees because this is not going to work properly on your core and you're not going to be able to execute the scorpion at all so you begin by getting into full squal in, into a full plank position now you make sure that your wrists are exactly under your shoulders and your wrists are not going to get off the floor at any point in time you're going to lift one leg and then you're going to lift it up as high as possible and then you're going to try to touch that heel to the opposite hand so your goal is to curl your body just enough that you can take your feet back and touch the opposite hand from the back side so this requires you to do a little visualization because with these instructions you wouldn't be able to understand while you do it you want to start it by getting into a full plank position you want to lift one leg up and you want to curl it in such a way that it is trying to touch the other hand the diagonally the other hand and then you bring your feet in so you do this again you with the other side when you do this movement you're going to feel a lot in your hip a lot means a lot in your hip you're going to work on your hamstrings you're going to work on your quads your thighs your hips your core your shoulders tell me and uh, tell me an area of your body that is not being worked upon with this exercise now different exercises work muscles differently with different loads and parameters but here the whole objective is getting the mastery of the body and being able to get into shapes and sizes that a animal normally does but we as humans have de-evolved into not being able to do them so this was the plank to scorpion hold for you